Hi there, before I start, let's just explain what an exorcism is. Exorcism involves the practice of casting out one or more demons from a person whom they are believed to have possessed. The person performing the exorcism, known as an exorcist, is often a member of a church or an individual thought to be graced with special powers or skills. How I came upon the crucifix, the woman I purchased it from inherited her grandmother's belongings. She owned many haunted dolls and other vessels that all have their own unique stories. Most of these vessels are positive spirits and some negative spirits too. Over the years she's grown really attached to most of these dolls and vessels and she does lots of readings on them, etc. Sadly her grandmother passed away late 2020. Her wishes were that the haunted dolls and spirits become more popular. So dolls and spirit vessels have more homes to live and be looked after and respected in the ways they should be. But unfortunately, the daughter does not have the time to give them all the love and attention they all require. Herself and her own daughter, who at this time is 16, love to work with spirit dolls also. Her grandmother also passed this knowledge on to her granddaughter, as well as her daughter, with how to communicate with the dolls and other vessels. However, both have lost heart in this, but they kept trying not to, keeping each other strong with this and hopefully it will change over time when they heal more over uh, the grandmother's passing. But at the moment, they both felt it's not fair on the vessels, as it has been four years, and they are still feeling like this. So they will be passing them on to people that could hopefully treat them with the respect they deserve. The crucifix itself, there are around five spirits in this crucifix. All former priests that worked for the Mormon Church, they worked between 1910 and 1980. They all performed exorcisms on various children using this crucifix cross to relieve children of demons, evil spirits and malevolent forces. Five of these priests died due to the demons taking control. One of these priests relieved a demon that was consuming the spirit of an 18-month-old boy. The boy had come in dark conditions and without this priest's help would have died. However, the priest died during this as he was consumed by the demon himself. This crucifix also holds a demonic spirit. This demonic spirit has been trapped in the crucifix for the safety of humanity. All the priests in this crucifix cross have two keys attached to it, one to lock out the mortal realm to the spirit. Both of these locks have been attached to the cross, which is made of metal. This helps prove that it is locked from crawling out of this crucifix pendant and causing havoc on the world. This crucifix, when you wear it, can make you feel negative. It is surrounded by negativity and is definitely a dangerous crucifix pendant to be around. Whether true or not, it is an intriguing collector's and conversation piece.